If you want to do Facebook stories, Instagram stories, Facebook newsfeed, whatever it is, guys, you can go and create it all in here, right in here inside the Creative Hub. All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about one of my favorite areas in the Ads Manager. This is something that is an underutilized area, for real. I mean, I barely started playing around with it a few months ago, and I'm blown away with it. This is something that I use, my whole team now uses to collaborate with each other. This is like a collaboration monster inside the Ads Manager, and it's called the Creative Hub. So it's really cool. So I wanna show you guys about this because if you have one uh, or more staff that are helping you, it's really important because now you don't have to start running something without them, you know, like first running it by you. People actually can help each other out and collaborate on different ads and, and strategies. You can test out different formats. For example, let's say that you wanna build out an awesome canvas ad, which is gonna teach you uh, how to actually go ahead and build like your own shop inside, like a mini store inside of Facebook. You can do all, many, all kinds of different things inside the Creative Hub and it's a really powerful tool because now, I don't know if you guys have already have downloaded some of the ads that I shared with you, but it's really cool because just like we have, for example, click funnels that you can share a funnel, or you have, for example, uh, other websites that you can copy and paste, or you have all kinds of different things that you can share with each other, for example, also on Messenger, right? Like there's uh, the tool called Nanny Chat that many of you guys already are familiar with. When you build a flow or uh, some kind of like particular sequence, you can actually share it with another Messenger, with another page. The same thing right now is also available on the Ads Manager through the Creative Hub. You can go in there, create an ad, play around with it, give it your own feel, and then if you like it, you can just export it into your Ads Manager. Or if you wanna have a second opinion of it, you can go ahead and share a link and send it to uh, some employee or a friend of yours or somebody that you trust in that is gonna actually go and check it out and give you their two cents on that particular ad, that particular structure that you built. Really cool, right? So let me show you a quick example how to do this, but this is just something for you guys to play around with. And whenever you're building ads, whenever you're doing creative, I want you guys to start working in here first because once you have your campaign selected, your objective, once you have your audience selected, all you gotta do is actually go ahead and create your ad. And you can go ahead and create it on the Creative Hub right here, and once you're done, you can export it and connect it with your campaign and with your audience, or go, or go ahead and select a new campaign and a new audience too, by the way. So let's go ahead and look at a quick example over here. If I'm in the Business Manager, and I open up the menu, there's this area right here where it says like plan. Creative Hub is the option right here. We're gonna open this one up and we're gonna wait until it opens one second. Okay, so check it out. Let's look at the different things that it says right here. You guys know that earlier I gave you an example of using the Creative Hub for the image text check. This is something that I would religiously do every single time that I'm gonna use an image that has some text. I wanna upload it in here to make sure that Facebook doesn't have a problem with the text. So if you go to image text check, you can literally upload any image and Facebook is gonna tell you right away if there's too much text. For example, this is my logo, the logo for my AGM company. Look what it says, image sex. You may reach fewer people because there's too much text in the image. Facebook prefers add images with little or no text. Consider changing your image before placing your order. Okay, good. So now I know that I shouldn't be using that particular image. Just a stable place for you to go and verify your actual creative before you actually start using it. Okay, good. So now if we do a mock-up right here, check it out. There's projects and then there's like mock-ups from the actual ad account. These are two separate things. Like for example, I can create a project and add some team, some players to it. For example, if I have 10 clients, I would have 10 projects. I would something like, it would be like, t type the name of a client or a campaign. I, let's say that you only have one brand and you wanna have se separate different campaigns. So we can have like Amazon ranking. And then we can add a team player here, like whoever, like I don't have anybody still set up here connected here, it's only me, but let's go ahead and like add I don't even have to add myself here, but you get the idea, right? Whoever is on your ads manager, you can add to this project. And we can add a picture to describe the project, or we can just leave it like that. And we're gonna save this right here. So inside of this project, we can start creating mockups 
for each individual action in it. Now, as I've told you guys before, there's different things that we actually want to focus on. Another project would be branding. So you get the idea, right? Now we're building different areas that we want to work on. And we can start inside of that, creating actual mockups that are going to help us build actual you know, campaigns that are going to help us with branding, with ranking, with lead generation. There could be another one called lead generation. Okay, I think you guys get the idea already. So let's go ahead and you can see right here, for example, you can select the ad account. I have all my ad accounts in here. Let's wait for it to load. And I can select one or the other. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and create a mockup and look at the different options. I can start playing around with them so I can actually find an actual ad that works and looks great. Look at that carousel, a slideshow, a 360 video, a canvas, a single video, a single image, an Instagram story, a carousel on Instagram, a single video on Instagram, a single image on Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and create any of them. So for example, for this particular purpose, let's go ahead and select a single image. Here, you start building it. So I'm going to go ahead and name it and I'm going to call it traffic to Amazon. I'm just making this up as we go along. And you're going to do the page name. Let's go ahead and do easy concepts. You're going to do a profile picture. You got this one right here. Let's confirm this one right here. Again, don't worry about any other details in here, like using the actual uh, page profile or the actual pictures, because uh, you're just creating a mockup. Once you actually export this into your ads manager, all the elements will, will, will combine, and now you have, you're gonna have the complete picture of what you're trying to build in here. Just for like demonstration purposes, let's do a quick ad right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select an image. Let's go ahead and use this one right here. Let's see how it starts changing the actual ad creative. Okay, so now it's forming. We're gonna do the website URL. In this case, I would use, if I'm trying to rank on Amazon, like a lot of you guys are actually trying, well, I would probably use my special unique ranking URL that you guys are familiar with uh, that are gonna help you get more visibility on the Amazon search engine. So you're gonna put that in there and then you're gonna put your display link. The display link, just so you guys know, to be clear, it's a link that is gonna show, it's not clickable. It's just gonna give people more like a vision of where they're going, right? So I would just do amazon.com. Let's do a headline and I will say something like, let's do a call to action. Shop now. And let's see how that starts looking. Look at that, isn't that cool? Now you can start building your ad right in there without having to run it. And you're gonna see exactly how it looks on the actual uh, newsfeed of the person. Let me go ahead and shorten this up a little bit. You know how I like it to be on the same, directing the person towards the button. Let's see what happens. Okay, purchase your best selling bamboo cutting board. Okay, great. So check it out. One important thing to note right here, okay? Um, you're gonna play around with this thing. Those are the mockups. You see right here how it says that, uh, check that your ad meets our guidelines. Let's check if we click on this. It's gonna check the image sex and look what it says. Wow, okay, your ad will run normally. Cool, so now we know that our creative is actually working out. Fantastic, do you see how this saves a lot of time and takes away guesswork? I wonder why my ad was disapproved. I wonder why it's not running. Why isn't it getting any impressions? Because let me tell you something, guys. You can start running an ad and you can submit it and you can wait for days and you don't know exactly what's happening and why it's not running. Many times the answer is really simple. So if you have the data, it's gonna become quite clear what is the thing that you need to correct. Piece of cake. So now right here you can see if it's, there's a problem with that. Right here, check it out. There's another option. You see right here this little eye? If you save your, your mock-up, once we save it, you can open it on a tab to preview how it looks. Let's go ahead and save it right now. I'm gonna save it. We named it Traffic to Amazon. 
All right, so let's check it out. Now you can deliver mockups when they're ready to be purchased. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and press this button right here. Open mockup in preview tab. It opens up a new page and this is how it looks. Okay, so you can see right here, for example, you can change the placements. You see how it's everything in one single place? Isn't this fantastic, guys? I know that you guys are probably blown away, right? Because probably chances are that you haven't been using this before. Uh, for example, here, it's showing up how it's looking on the desktop, right? Let's change it to the mobile feed. Look how it looks. This is, how gonna look, how, this is exactly how it's gonna look on a mobile feed. Let's see what else. When delivery is enabled, anyone with the link can purchase this mockup as an ad. Are you kidding me? So if I actually build these ads for you and I share this link, that means that you can actually go ahead and purchase it and put it on your own ads manager and just edit the actual pictures and text. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select this thing and it says right here, by enabling importing, this, this mockup will be visible to anyone with the URL. Please be aware, aware of your company's privacy requirements. Okay, great. So we're gonna go ahead and select that option right there. Okay, so I can actually send it to my phone so I can see how it actually is gonna look. It says right there, we sent a notification. So now if I open up my phone, okay, very simple. If I open up my phone, I'm gonna have a notification right here on the phone that says that my ad is ready for preview and I can see it right here in there, right there. Okay, super cool, right? Just like that. Okay, so another thing, let's see. Now we're gonna go into copy URL, okay? So now this URL I can share with somebody, I can open it in a new window. Let's say if I open up a new window, I see the exact same thing, where I can go ahead and I can share with somebody inside the actual business or outside so they can tell me their thoughts about you know, what, what this ad looks like. Okay, so for example here, it says import the mockup in ads man into Ads Manager. As simple as that, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, for example, here, Easy Concepts Brands, and I'm gonna go ahead and import and just like that, this thing is imported into my ads manager. And let me show you guys how it looks quickly. And it says, you can now create an ad with this mockup using the ad account. So it says, okay, open ads manager. And I'm in the Easy Concepts brand account right here and check it out. We have the ad right here, create, uh, create ad from the mockup. We put the name to Amazon. We select, we wanna do a traffic, what do we wanna do? Okay, what is the exact thing that we're trying to accomplish? We select the ad name, we can select a new ad set and we can be like uh, 35 to 44 and just do our ad set right here and we save it and off we go guys. Now we can start running this thing as an ad as soon as we got it completed, okay? Really, really cool stuff. I just wanted to give you guys an idea on how you can play around with this because this is something that is actually gonna help you accomplish a lot of results. Once you do this, guys, you can start playing around and you can start opening up your projects. And once you open up a project, you can create mockups inside each of the projects. A lead generation project, a traffic ranking project. Um, you can do a branding project. Do you see how cool this is, guys? So I hope that you start working with it and then you can actually feel the power that I feel on this particular platform. And then you can have this central hub of creativity that you can go and take your actual Facebook creativity to the next level for your Amazon, for your Amazon rankings or for whatever. If you wanna do Facebook stories, Instagram stories, Facebook newsfeed, whatever it is, guys, you can go and create it all in here, right in here inside the Creative Hub.